In the previous tutorial, we learned how to obtain the encryption and decryption keys from the Play Console dashboard. And now it's time to make a call to the Google Play Integrity API and get a response for the integrity verdict. The response is received as an encrypted string which has to be securely decrypted using the two keys that we obtained the last time. Let me first list the Gradle dependencies that have to be linked through your build.gradle file. First is the play integrity dependency and the second is Joe's 4J. You might want to use their latest versions and the ones shown below are the latest as on the date of publish of this article. So let's come to the code now. Your app will most probably query the integrity verdict in response to a button click or perhaps during the start of your main activity. Hence it's going to be a function call, the result of which will be a JSON string in plain text. The code that you see here will be inside some function. The lines of code can be obtained from the blog page that I have listed in the description below and now I will explain it line by line. The first three lines contain hard-coded values for N1's decryption key and verification key. I have done this to keep my tutorial as simple and as to the point as possible. For a production scenario, you might want to refer the documentation for robust safety recommendations because hard coding is never recommended. The N1s or nonces string must be of at least 16 characters in length and must be in a base64 format. The next statement is an asynchronous request to obtain the integrity token by using the set nonce function. The on success listener brings the integrity token which is an encrypted string. The rest of the code is mostly consumed as a copy paste stuff but I'll quickly go through it. Secret key you see is obtained then followed by a public key. Both are later used for decryption. Then we have a JSON web encryption followed by set key and then we have compact JWS and similarly JSON web signature and finally we obtain the decrypted JSON verdict as a string JSON plain verdict. And this is what we wanted to obtain, we wanted to get. Now we can run the project that I have and then check the logs, open the Android Studio and run the application. The code has been called from the onCreate method of my activity so it fires automatically. But please take note that this is not the right place to do so. And as you can see, the response has been duly logged in the logcat window. We have obtained the response and it is human readable. And you can refer to Google documentation for an interpretation of this response, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Thank you.